Hi guys, this is Jeg again. This is my second video on backing coils, thanks to EM, EM Junkie. Uh, this genius guys with uh, all these wonderful ideas. Thank you, Chris. And uh, so this is my yoke core, consisted of uh, one primary coil, two backing coils of main turns at the output, one feedback coil just over my primary, which uh, feedback coil. Uh, supplies uh, in series my secondaries this is exactly as uh, Stanley Mayer has uh, on uh, its uh, patent and uh, exactly as Jensen set up but uh, without the diode so at the output now you see that uh, it is shortcutted my output it is shortcutted and I just uh, have my probe, oscilloscope probe, in parallel with, with this uh, shortcut. What we have and the consumption right now is uh, almost nothing, it's not over 100 milliamps. And uh, what we see in my oscilloscope We see some uh, high frequency peaks and uh, oscillations. Uh, every division is uh, 500 millivolts, so peak to peak is around uh, 1.5 volts. Just to take an idea of what happens uh, at the output. Uh, when I will unshortcut this, okay, I will put it out. But at the same time, look what happens here. Okay. It is just so much voltage that uh, cannot fit in my oscilloscope window. It's a uh, uh, 1.8 kilovolt peak to peak every division is 200 volts we see that uh, we have a pulse train of high frequency oscillations those oscillations are the uh, natural frequency of my backing coils it's 300 uh, kilohertz and uh, the repetition rate is uh, at 24 kilohertz so now, now what I would like to show you, but without my probe of course, here. Okay, first of all, I will raise up a little my input power. Let's go to one amp. I want to mention, to mention here that uh, the higher the input power, the higher the, ma uh, the magnitude of the output. So let's go to uh, about to about uh, 600 milliamps. Okay. When I shortcut it, wait. I have a little more, a little uh, more consumption at the input due to my inductance leakage because I didn't manage to break my coils exactly the same. But I have noticed that uh, in different frequencies, this is uh, is being affected. I have found the frequency that uh, the needle cannot move, but that's not my point right now. I just want you to show to show you the output. First of all, look here. We have a high voltage. It, it's not uh, more than 1,000 volt at the output, as I see from the spark. Even my oscilloscope shows that uh, it is uh, over 1.5 kilovolts. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I don't know if you are able to see the little sparks. And now I shortcut the output. So now with the shortcut it output, what I will do is to just bring another cable which uh, comes straight out of my earth ground, which is out of my house. And uh, look what happens here. First of all, when I attach the ground, the input, the input consumptions doesn't seem that it has any problem. Okay. Oh. At the same time, we have a very high, high voltage that goes to ground. There is so much radiant energy inside here that I couldn't imagine that, guys. Straight to the ground. As I see it, it is over 3000 volts here. At the same time, when I, should, when I just touched here my ground, the, uh, the input, okay, it goes a little up about a hundred of milliamps more. But as I told you before, I can find a, a frequency here by little plane. So I, I don't see those fluctuations at the input. When you do these experiments, you have to wear a glove if you don't want to destroy your tablet or your camera. The frequencies are very high and the voltage also. So that's all guys, Thank you. thanks for watching and have a nice day, bye.